Hello there! In this video, we'll explore the possible new blocks that will be added or shipped with the next coming versions of WordPress, which is WordPress version 5.2. To demonstrate those features, let's use this Gutenberg demo post. So let me disable this tip first. And in the post, we'll have the cover block that we can see on the block setting that says cover. So next, we want to preview this post, but first we need to save this post by clicking the Save Draft button. So let's click on Save Draft button. Then let's click on this preview button. So this is our current image on the front end, as we haven't changed point of this image that we want to focus on. So let's go back to our post editor, and by using your left mouse click, you can drag this focal point picker icon anywhere on the image you want to focus on. So say now I would like to focus on this dark area of this image, so I'm going to drop this icon over here, or alternatively you can type in your custom value in the horizontal and vertical positions. All of your changes is currently slightly seen on your page editor post editor. However, if we now preview our post on the front end, we'll see now that the focus on this image is different. So we cannot see the sky at the moment, we just see the darkest area of the image because we changed the focal point of this image to be in this area. So with the new focal point picker of the cover block, you can choose any focal point that you would like to have on your cover image. The next possible edit block is called RSS block. So let me quickly add a new block on this post after this paragraph, and by clicking on the plus button, you can to be able to search for RSS. There it is. Now you can enter your preferred RSS feed URL. For this video, I'll type in my feed URL. Then let's click on the use URL. And now we'll see the latest post or the latest feed items that are published in my website. To change the RSS URL, you can click on the pencil icon and then replace the URL and click on the use URL button. For this block, we'll also have the list and grid view options. For the RSS block setting itself, we do have many options that we can play around with. The next possible new block will be the Amazon Kindle block. So say after this RSS block, I'll add another paragraph block and then I'll convert it to Amazon Kindle by typing forward slash and then the name of the block, which is Kindle. So there it is, Amazon Kindle. And then now in this Amazon Kindle block, I'll have the ability to enter the URL of the Kindle. So let me quickly copy the URL of the Kindle here. And then I'm going just to paste it in this URL input box and click on Embed button. Now we have our ebook embedded in our post. For this specific block setting, we do have the line settings as well as the wide and full width settings. Furthermore, we'll have three links or buttons as well as the ability to write our own caption. So let's click on preview button to preview this on the front end. So there is our RSS block and our Amazon Kindle block. Completed with the three buttons of this Amazon Kindle block, you can buy this book or share or even have the free preview of this ebook. So the next possible edit block is the search block. So you'll have the ability to add the search widget inside your post content. This will be very helpful for your website audiences. So let's go back to our blog editor again. And beneath the Amazon Kindle block, I'll add a paragraph and I'll convert it to a search widget block. With the search widget block, you can type your own placeholder text right here, as well as replacing the search button text with your own text. So let's save our post and then preview our post in the front end. Now we have our search widget with our own placeholder text as well as the button that has our own text. 
So the next new block will be the calendar widget block. So if we go to our text editor again and then add a block and we'll choose calendar block. With the calendar block, you can change the alignment as well as the wide or full width setting. If we preview this block on our front end using 2019 theme, this calendar widget block will look like this. So they probably will change or highlight the date from today. This will be really nice feature. The next possible edit widget block is the tag cloud widget block. So again, I'll add another paragraph here and I'll convert it to a tag cloud widget block. Now I have the tag cloud widget block, which currently has nothing to show. And that is because I haven't any posts that are assigned to text taxonomy. For the tag cloud widget block, you'll have the alignment options as well as the white and full width options. For the setting, you can choose the taxonomy, either text or categories, as well as showing the post counts. The new possible features is the improvement of the editor itself. So for example, if you click on the add block button on the top, and then you hover your mouse on this each blocks, you'll have the highlighted hover effect in this block options. Same with the more tools and options button on the top right, your hover state will also be highlighted. Another thing that you will likely have in the versions 5.2 is that the smoother effect whenever you open your options. For example, I'm not sure if you noticed that in this rendered video, but if I click on this plus button again, you'll see some animations going on here. To demonstrate the next possible feature, let me now embed a YouTube video. So I'll quickly copy my YouTube URL. Then in my block editor, beneath the tag cloud block, I'll add a new block and I'll just paste my YouTube URL and WordPress will automatically give the YouTube embed block. To see the new coming feature on the embed block, we'll have to be in another block. Say now I'm in a tag cloud block. And then when I select this embed YouTube block, this video does not immediately start to play. And this is new because at the moment, at least with the version 5.1, if you are in other block and then you select on the embed block that has a video content, the video will start to play immediately. And this will likely to change in WordPress 5.2, I believe. So WordPress new block editor or Gutenberg will likely to be really improved in the coming future. So thank you guys for watching. Please like the video if it was useful for you. See you in the next video and take care of yourself. Goodbye for now.